What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and this beautiful little lady over here <laughs> are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that are going to help you ignite, entice, and up that relationship to wherever you need to take it, right? And that's the best level the or top. best possible level there could be. The All the way to the top. That's right. So uh, this week, you know, I want to, you know, bring up a conversation that, you know, I, I was talking to one of my, my younger athletes here and stuff like that, you know, and just kind of asking me my opinion about things, you know, he got a text message. So I was, you know, I was like, oh, I was like, this is a great topic to bring up. So, <laughs> you know, it, it's yeah, basically okay. um, assuming uh, which gender is going to pay for dates or have to pay for things and such like that. Should a guy always have to pay for everything, right? Should a girl pay for, for some things? Let's talk about it and let's yeah, really let's break it down. let's talk about these right? opinions. So nowadays, you know, we've got a lot of people out there, different generations doing different things. Mm -hmm. um, the old school way of it was, you know, is the guy would always take care of everything, right? The guy would be the provider and that would provide for dinners or taken out or protection or whatever it may be. But things have changed, right? Things have changed dramatically, dramatically in the environment and with these generations that have came up. For sure. Me, I'm old school, so I always want to take care of my wife and I want to take care of my family and be able to do this. Even on dates, I think, even when I started dating Sharice, you know, I would, I would pay for everything, you know? I mean, that was just what I grew up thinking, right? This is how it has to be for a guy to take out a girl. But, you know, things, like I said, have changed, right? And, you know, if guys are just starting to date girls and you know, it's a whole different environment. Like I said, you know, there's more, it's more of a hookup generation now than a relationship <laughs> and dating <laughs> thing. It really is. Yeah. You know, think about the last time somebody asked you out if you're single, right? And how that went. Was it online through your DMs? Was it on a post? Did they call you or did they meet you in person? And what do they say to you? Hey, no. can I take you out for dinner? You know, or, you know, I'll stop by your house by seven o'clock, you know, maybe watch a movie or something like that. It's like, what is the expectation though? Let's say if you guys go to dinner, right? And then the bill comes. What's, What's the, the expectation, expectation right? right? Is right. the expectation that, you know, you grab your purse and say, you gotta go to the bathroom and then Ooh, just let them take care of it. Cause that true. is notorious. Now, did I do that? No, because I'm an alpha female. So, you know, I, 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 I think- I know guys that do that too. Uh, guys do the same thing, yeah. of course. I mean, especially if you have a girl, let's just say a girl that is a uh, well-off per se. Yeah. She drives a nice car, this and that. You might, I and mean, you might, they might think you're gonna be responsible for the bill. I mean, yeah. some weird times, I mean, this is weird to me anyway. Like I said, anything on this show is never set in stone. This is called an opinion, right? Yeah. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. Yeah. This is me and John's opinion and our take on this stuff, right? Yeah. We've been around for a while. We've also been married for a long time. So we've been yeah. through, you know, a lot, you know, even in the beginning, we've had our beginnings too. Everybody has beginnings. Yeah. Um, but you know, they might be, let's say split the bill, you know, I mean, what, what, what do you think should be the right thing to do? I know what John's gonna Ugh. say already. I, I mean, mean, listen, if you're gonna ask a girl to go on a date, you're gonna probably, you know, pay for the date, right? Now, if it's your first time going out with a girl or a guy, whatever it is, you know, you don't know what's exactly gonna happen. You may have conversations on the phone, online, whatever it is, but until you really meet in person, that's where you really see if you really have chemistry, is there awkward silences, how it's really gonna go, right? If you're really interested in each other. And just like, you know, if they're gonna pay them for the bill, you just order like, you know, lobster, a steak, make sure you get a couple margaritas, top you know top shelf of course and you know make sure you just run up the bill and see if they pay for it no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding i mean it could go two different ways <laughs> if something like that ha does happen so you know if you're going to assume that the other person is going to take care of the bill i wouldn't over order what you naturally wouldn't order so you can pay for it just in case something goes south it's so right? crazy though like honestly like it's so crazy like some of the stories that i hear it's crazy. So I'll give you guys an example, right? And this is an old school example. Great example too, right? Because I don't come from money. I say that every single time. And I like saying that because, you know, we've gotten to a place where we're comfortable and I, I've earned my way to this spot, right? So I, I'm proud of what I've done and, you know, where I come from. So I'm, I'm happy to tell stories like this, right? So when I first met John, yes, he paid for everything, what, which a nice gentleman should. My personal opinion, if you're a guy and you want to remain the alpha in the relationship, 
you probably should offer at least to, you know, pay for the at least the first few dinners, whatever it might be. I mean, and then if you're a girl, maybe even offer, hey, listen, do you want me to split that or whatever? Because then it shows that you have respect for the other party right. slash gender, right? right. Um, and this goes for guys, girls, 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 guys, guys. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's, it's ironically funny, funny story for you, right? So in this particular situation, when I first met John, probably a few months in, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, right? Oh, you're talking about the trip? <laughs> so listen, funny story. I'll make it quick and, and yeah. simple. But, you know, at the time I was working a regular nine to five, making just minimal amount of money, you know, and I was also helping my parents with their bills and my bills and I had minimal money, right? So I always offered like, hey, listen, I'll pay for it. Like I have the money, like even though I really didn't have the money, but I was like, I'll pay for it. I have the money. So John goes on this trip. He comes back from the trip and he, I, he did 100% lose his wallet and credit cards and everything out there. All my money was the worst. It was a bad trip for him. Worst. You know, how dare he get an extra day out of this trip? I was so pissed. So anyways, I pick him up in the airport and I'm, you know, he's starving to death because he hasn't eaten, right? Him and his friend and I have another friend and girlfriend with me. And so, you know, we go to Applebee's, or I think it was Applebee's, something of that nature. Um, and then we, you know, obviously he doesn't have his credit card on him. So I'm like, oh yeah, no, 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 I got it. I'll take care of it. Now, at the time, I will be totally honest with you. I probably had not enough money in my account to cover it. So I still covered the bill anyway and overdraft my account because it was an ego thing. But I covered the bill because I was like, listen, I got the money, I'm good, right? But it just showed that, listen, I, I cared for him a lot at the time. And, you know, I wanted to take care of him. And it's kind of one of those things. So once you get past, like, I would say third, fourth date and stuff like that, I think it's out of respect. You should at least try to establish, like, what's going on here and not just have the expectation that the man will always just pay for it because that can get old and that can get old real quick. Well, there's, I mean, there's a couple of different things. Going back to the story with Sharice, yeah, I'd lost my ball and all this stuff. It was <laughs> the worst extended day that I had in my life. I stayed in this literally a flea bag motel in Costa Rica and Costa Rica is not like over here. So mm -hmm. when I talk about flea bag, I'm talking about no air conditioning, <laughs> hot as hell there, opening the windows, bugs everywhere. Probably sleeping in bed with bug bed or bed bugs in the oh, whole he, night. He missed his flight. But you know, when I got back, I was saying I have a lot of money and literally we, we only ate like Burger King, like heading back home, right? Before we left Costa Rica. <laughs> hit, hit Fort Lauderdale, we were starving. Literally when my buddies talked about, talked to this girl in like a little, um, shop and she gave us free coke and a couple bags of chips for free. I couldn't believe we even got that for free. My guys, that guy and he brought me back a teddy bear. So you know when I got home or whatever, I told her, I said, "Listen, man, I'm, I'm starving. I'm like, listen, you know, I'll pay you back whatever it is because I, I, I didn't want so that." Weird. So you know, she she covered it and that was awesome, right? I didn't know the situation, but you know, I I wasn't telling. I, I think the first couple of dates, right? You know, a guy should definitely take care of you know the girl, especially if you asked her out. And then at that point, you know, once you start establishing, we're boyfriend and girlfriend. I think that's when kind of the rules will start changing a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And the dynamic of if you guys are going to plan to go on vacation together, you know, maybe you're going to chip in a little bit with them or you're going to do something as far as helping out with, you know, doing that um, event or wherever you're going to go, you know? So whether it's dinner, whether it's uh, going to Disney or whatever it may be, hey, listen, even if you pay for, you know, the car parking, right? You're, you're, you're extending out some sort of, um, olive branch as far as you know you want to to, to be able to provide don't that always have that yeah. expectation because that could turn into one of the things that's like oh you know uh, you owe me this you owe me that you know and it, it's just it's not a good way to have the relationship so out of respect you should always offer at least offer to pay for something and this is a guy or a girl it doesn't matter whoever's picking up the bill or you guys are going somewhere fun you got to at least offer it because yeah. it just it, it could become i feel like that is definitely something that that is brought up often that's like oh i'm expected to pay for everything now like and, and you, this person saying this behind your back you yeah. just don't realize it yeah. and you don't realize that you're you might be taking it for granted right so i mean don't do that and you know i mean a lot of a lot of guys or girls go through this anyway especially if you're well off right whether you're a girl and you're, you're killing it out there and making a ton of money, you're a guy out there or a couple, whatever it is, you know, people might see that, right? And then they automatically think like, oh, I'm gonna go out with this person and they're gonna take care of all my stuff. Trust me, I go through that, you know, every week of my life. I <laughs> Literally. I, I'll go out and I'll go out to dinner with a couple people or drinks or whatever it is. 
And of course the bill comes and it comes directly to me. And I'm usually, you know, fitting the bill for everybody, whatever it is. And I'm glad I'm blessed to be able to do that. But it shouldn't be expected from anybody. At right. least, you know, somebody say thank you or, you know, can I throw At least in? offer. Can I, can I help out with a tip? Offer. I mean, these are little gestures that go a long way with somebody. You know, and if, you know, your girl is making more money than you, that doesn't mean that she has to pay for everything. Uh, if she's going to pick up more of these things, then listen, pick up in different areas, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of money to, to write a card to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Not to go get a card, but literally write something out. Write a nice little letter or note. You know, that's that something she does. <laughs> um, you know, or you're, you're doing something for her. Like, you know, maybe it's around the house or something like that. You're helping her pick up, you know, clothes or laundry. Just Those taking, things go a long way, and that doesn't cost any dude. money, right? So if you don't have, let's say you didn't have money, make up for it in other ways so that you're still giving back on yeah. the back end, you know, same thing, like yeah. do some dishes. Hey, do you need some help with some laundry or let me help you with something that something, uh, let's say gender role doesn't typically do, or yeah. let's it just, ha it's gotta be like, it's a courteous type of thing. You know, the funny really thing is. that I see is this, and we're going to be wrapping up here very shortly. The funny thing I see is this, a lot of girls or guys, whatever, as far as if they're getting taken care of by the other person, you know, they expect that, right? And right off the bat, they're like, oh, this person's gonna pay for all this stuff and all, you know. But you expect them to do that, right? So you're assuming that gender role, whether it's male or female, is going to take care of everything because they have more money. But then I have to assume that the other gender role, let's say you're a female in that situation, you're gonna cook, you're gonna clean, you're gonna be ready at all times when I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know, you're gonna set those gender aspect, aspect Make expectations. Make sure you're in lingerie right? every night. And then that way, you know, it's a, it's a trade-off. Like they're doing this, you're doing this, right? But, it's, it, it's, you gotta meet each other, I always say it. You gotta meet each other at the halfway point yeah. and make it make sense for both of you guys, of right? That's what you really need to come up with. Of course, so that ends it guys. Another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m. If you guys miss us, don't worry, you can DVR it. Or if you don't have a DVR and you can't see us live, go right over to YouTube, check out all the Cupid's Corners and a lot more cool content from Titan Medical Center. We love you and we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner with me, my beautiful wife here, Sharice. We'll see you then.